With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, in this question we are going to look after which of the following is a cross-linked polymer. So this is going to be one of the method of polymerization, cross-linked polymerization where interlinks or cross-links are being introduced in the monomeric units to form a large polymeric unit. So we are given four set of options, amylopectin, melamine, formaldehyde resin, glycogens and poly polyesters. So basically what is our going to be answer? Option B is going to be answer. Melamine, formaldehyde resin, it's going to contain the cross-linked polymers. So let me draw the structure for the scene. So for that we are going to take the monomeric unit of melamine and our formaldehyde. So melamine is going to have NH, then we have C, then we have CNN, then we have double bond C, then we have N and double bond C, then we have this side. So this NH2 is present over here, NH2 is present over here and down also NH2 is present over here. So this is going to be called as the melamine. So now we are going to take formaldehyde H C double bond H. So this is formaldehyde. Now what's going to happen? We are going to take H from this side and it's going to be removal or the direct addition will take place upon this place. So what is going to be formed? That is known as the resin intermediate. So I'm going to write its formula. So this will be of this form where I have represented this with C. So need to put the double bonds. This is the same structure like this and it's going to contain now NHCH2OH. So basically this it is being 1H is converted with OH bonds over here. So this is being shifted like this and this CH2 is being this one. So what is this called? It is called as the resin intermediate. Resin intermediate. Now let me complete the structure just like the before this is containing NH2 this side and here also it's containing NH2. Now when this repeated polymerization is going to take place of this product we are going to have extended form of the chain which is shown over here. So this is being converted with the cross links. So how the structure will look after the polymerization it's going to contain the same unit N which is being taken like this and this side we are having NH and CH2. So this is going to contain let me finish with the structure. So here also NH. So these are bonds are being extending from the these three sides. So this is known as our melamine polymer. So let's see its full structure. This is melamine polymer. So this was the polymeric form which is being generated using polymerization reaction and introducing the cross links. So what happens? This is going to be OH over here and this is going to be H. So water molecule will remove out and they are going to be linked in separate chains. So this large chains or sheet will be extended like of this polymer and finally the main product is known as the melamine polymer. So it's going to show the cross linking property because of this structure because this is being linking with the same of this unit. So this is going to form the cross links. So our answer B is going to be the correct solution for the given problem. And rest set of option you can easily identify. Amylopectin is ba basically the composition of our cellulose. It's going to contain the glycosidic linkage, not cross links. And cross linked polymer is not there. Then we are going to have glycogen, so it's also going to be have complex structure containing the glycosidic linkage. Then polyesters also we are going to have ester linkage. So this is the following. B is the correct one. For class six to twelve, ITG and neat level. Trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.